สวัสดีครับ ladies and gentlemen um, the uh, topic that I've been uh, preparing uh, for today is uh, part of my research that I've been working on for the past 10 years um, I myself is a furniture designer and um, lecturer um, uh, at Brunswick University um, uh, in the past and um, you might be um, surprise, you know, of the topic, uh, the slow hand design. Um, it is focusing uh, more of uh, the design um, development from the past um, that I don't believe that we've been following the trend of um, uh, European countries. Um, last year in April, uh, I happened to uh, curate um, an exhibition with um, Department of Export Promotion uh, and we brought this um, exhibition to um, Milan, uh, the Milan Furniture Show, the uh, Salon de Mobili, which is the design maker where design pilgrims uh, would go to observe trends and uh, movements. Um, Everyone is showing off the new ideas. And uh, it was the first time that we ever claimed that um, the export products that we've been uh, producing and manufacturing for, uh, during the past uh, 50 years um, we have never done any brand identity or brand creation. And this is the first exhibition that I um, show off to the world. And we've gained a very good uh, feedback from um, top um, magazines, design magazines, and lifestyles of U Europe uh, countries. Um, we got a very good feedback from uh, international buyers as well. Um, and uh, this, the exhibition is focusing on the development of Thai design DNA from um, the past history to present. And um, my hypothesis are uh, based upon um, uh, the uh, development because I found that, um, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the fact of uh, uh, history, this is the picture of uh, uh, Ban Chiang uh, pottery ware. Many archaeologists have found these vessels um, in uh, our neighboring countries, um, like in the Philippines, in Vietnam, in China, and recently I went to uh, Fukuoka and I found these uh, vessels that was found there in, in, in Fukuoka, Fukuoka Island in Japan as well. Um, so that means that we were, we've been exporting these products you know, since um, 7,000 years ago and talking about um, trading with other countries, you're talking about um, quality control products, you're talking about advanced technology, and back then, um, look at the uh, design motives and all the materials that we've been uh, you know, um, using, the bronze casting, the uh, glass beads. These are imported products that we've been uh, you know, um, um, developing uh, for like, um, from, from like 10,000 years to uh, the latest one uh, that found in the archaeological site uh, of uh, Ban Chien was 2,000 years dated back. And um, this is why, um, this is the, 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 the reason why my hypothesis is based upon um, um, the starting point of um, uh, design development uh, of Thailand. And not only that, um, I also found out that, um, you know, uh, later on we have developed further into um, uh, a more advanced um, technology of uh, overglazed um, celadon and sankaloguer, which is more durable than the terracotta technique of Ban Chien. And uh, we have uh, expressed it via, uh, you know, our own identity, our own local identity, which is way different um, than um, the uh, compatible um, wares from Korea and China back then. This is about um, seven, 700 years ago, um, uh, during the uh, flourish of Lana civilization. Also, uh, in the UTR period, uh, where uh, uh, Utia was the uh, melting pot of all cultures. Uh, traders came to, um, you know, uh, uh, in, this, in, in, in Utia city, uh, their, their settlement of uh, the French, the Portuguese, the Japanese, now that you can, uh, you know, go to museum and surf. Um, we crossed the technology of these uh, products with uh, China. And uh, you see that uh, all this Ben Jerong was very uh, popular back then. Ben Jerong is uh, so, uh, translated um, literally, uh, uh, so-called um, five colors over glaze, and it was a popular uh, technique of the Ming Dynasty in China. We designed this um, utensil, utensils, uh, this uh, pottery, and uh, according to our uh, food serving um, function. And um, uh, we shipped the design to China, and then had them um, produce, I mean, made it um, uh, locally there, and then, uh, you know, uh, we uh, 
uh, imported to Thailand. You see that uh, the face of uh, the uh, Tepanom uh, figurine uh, on the, uh, uh, you know, the uh, balls resemble the Chinese rather than the Thai because uh, it was painted by um, the Chinese artisan. There's a crossover always, you know, uh, in between um, uh, each one period, uh, each one dynasty. Uh, and this is um, the uh, architecture's uh, famous architecture of uh, uh, King Jualongkorn um, on Rajadhanun Avenue. Uh, back then, uh, it was the period uh, of imperialism, so we need to survive, you know, uh, we had, um, uh, we, we got, uh, we, we, we import two architects, uh, Italian architects, uh, Mario Tamagno and Anibali Rigatti, to design these two uh, important buildings. But it was, it looks more like um, European style kind of inspiration, but actually when you look closer, uh, instead of using gargoyles and all these Gothic, um, you know, uh, elements, you know, of graphics, they were fusing it with um, a myth, uh, local uh, mythical stories of uh, Thailand, like uh, Nagas or, you know, Ginnery, uh, the half-bird and half-man, and all this stuff. I mean, uh, they, so it was like um, sort of a, a same crossover, another kind of East and West, you know, infusion. Uh, and looking at the uh, infrastructure of how, you know, design development uh, have um, initiated, you know, from um, the very old uh, Banqing and ancient Banqing up to, up to uh, this, this period. It's always been the uh, 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 infusion of, uh, you know, culture that uh, shifted the uh, 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 design movement and uh, uh, invention here in this uh, Southeast Asian region. Um, and from 1950 on uh, until present, this is a very important uh, period that um, uh, it misleads uh, the understanding of uh, most people that we always follow um, the, the Industrial Revolution. We are one of the, uh, uh, I mean, um, uh, follower, you know, uh, from um, European countries uh, because we, back then, uh, we were shifting from uh, uh, agricultural country to uh, industrialization. Uh, and then uh, many investors have um, in, uh, invested uh, uh, you know, some money and produce um, uh, products out of Thailand because uh, we were so cheap in terms of labor costs and everything. But right now we're not compatible with, um, you know, uh, China or Vietnam or Cambodia anymore because uh, we're, um, you know, shifting against um, materialistic world and uh, the higher cost of living uh, makes us, um, in a, uh, you know, uh, shift us to uh, the position of uh, uh, someone who need to survive in the uh, design world. So we have to um, find our new position in terms of um, creating a uh, uh, brand identity, you know, uh, bringing our own identity to the world, and otherwise we won't survive in the uh, global market. Um, this is one of the sample. Um, I want to talk about the uh, uh, local identity and how would you bring it up to the scope of uh, global market channel. Uh, this this one old top um, product is uh, is is one of the sample that um, is good. It's good uh, to 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 reflect um, the the heart value um, that lies behind these uh, production. Uh, you see that I mean the better nut sets is good. It's 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 nicely done. It's all done by hand and it's reflecting the uh, heart quality. Everything's done by hand. I believe it's reflect the, the, the heart. And that's what uh, we're, we're keen in because uh, we've never been developed into um, massive production that much. Because uh, uh, comparing to uh, uh, Taiwan or Korea, uh, we probably started at the same uh, time, but um, they are more into advanced technology while we're still um, copying, you know, um, uh, and uh, Manufacturing um, and and what we were ne neglecting from from uh, 1950 period um, on uh, was that we forgot about um, uh, our own local wisdom, and uh, during the past 20 years uh, now that the Department of Export Promotion was trying to promote the um, design um, uh, image of the the products of the country, um, it started um, little by little that um, um, we have this uh, uh, campaign to enhance the. Uh, Industries like this OTOP campaign, but um, OTOP cannot go to the world yet because um, there is a need of um, how would it, how would you uh, how would you say that? I mean, reinterpretation re re of uh, uh, local identity. 
uh, we're good in uh, producing things by hand, which is important, but um, we need a revision uh, if you want to make it uh, up to the scope of global. There's nothing wrong with this if you want to aim for something, um, you know, a local market consumers. But um, uh, this, no one shoes Beto's nuts anymore. Um, these are all done by uh, uh, bamboo pieces. They weaved, you know, by hands, and it take months and years. But um, when you're talking about um, exporting, you're talking about time consumption. Um, timing is important then. Uh, so um, you need the revision uh, through that, and um, many designers, uh, you know, who've uh, been um, uh, establishing uh, their own uh, production um, have been, uh, you know, working on this now. And um, I'd like to show you and share with you some of my design um, that I've been producing this during the past uh, ten years. I've been selling uh, these products. Uh, to uh, 48 countries around the world, uh, trying to um, reflect my local identity uh, via uh, technology that's available here in Thailand. Um, this is a chair called Bao Si Tangi. Um, it's fused by the inspiration of uh, a tangerine fruit, uh, which I found the abstraction of it is very soft and spongy. Um, I, I like to play with things around me. I mean, uh, I don't look uh, that far. Um, and I see the abstract line inside of it and trying to um, uh, shift it um, to a, a functional, um, uh, you know, uh, use uh, that uh, people can appreciate it uh, as a function of a chair, an armchair. I fuse the two, um, uh, the, the top part of the uh, vessels, you know, on, on top of the uh, tangerine fruit, and then uh, try to construct, you know, those uh, abstract line of the base of uh, the fruit, and uh, use the uh, wicker, um, I mean, the polyurethane, I mean, uh, wires, and then uh, reinforce with uh, spring wires, and uh, make it uh, rock and bounce, and then uh, put the top of uh, the chair with, uh, you know, the uh, 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 seat that's uh, comfortable. It's upholstered with a uh, flower pattern. So it looks as if um, you have a, a you know, flower pot, a flower vase you know, in, in your room. This is another sample of a uh, share called Sorong. It's inspired by um, the famous uh, mirror painting of Wat Pum in Nan. And uh, it was that uh, figure of the woman on the uh, right hand side. Um, she poses so feminine and I like it very much and I'd like to express this femininity of a Thai woman uh, via my uh, chaise lounge. So, um, and, but, but I, did, I, I, I didn't do it literally. I um, imposed the famous uh, painting of uh, Vincent van Gogh. It was starry, this is Starry Night, uh, you know, uh, his, his famous painting at the Museum of Modern Art. I imposed the uh, design of the uh, Starry Night effect onto the body of this um, woman, sculpt it, you know, uh, and you know, make the function, make function uh, as, a, as a, a piece of chaise lounge. But um, I applied um, the uh, technique of um, ikat dye, a silk, a silk weaving of the Northeast, uh, so-called matmi. Uh, when you produce matmi uh, silk weave, you need to um, dye the color in distance, and uh, I, um, I steal this idea, but uh, instead of using uh, silk yarn, I use water hyacinth, and then apply it, you know, um, this water hyacinth, weave it over uh, the uh, uh, structure of a fiberglass um, uh, seat. Another sample of uh, bringing local identity up to the scope of the global market is uh, a Thai massage. We're so good in hand, and we're so good in uh, knowing the spot of um, the nerves in the body. This is from the old, um, the ancient um, massage of Wat Po. I designed this chair. I cut um, little pieces of wood. Um, individually, 
and paint it uh, in different colors, just like checkers uh, pattern, and place it over the top of latex sponge. So when you sit on it, it massage your buttocks and your back. And that's the idea of um, you know, uh, turning a cheap uh, rubber wood chair into a, something valuable, something with local identity, but make it acceptable um, at the global market channel. Um, these are the sample of uh, the uh, products. Um, I mean, just, just three of them. I have uh, many of them. I may need uh, uh, to talk more about it, but um, we have um, less uh, time. And then, uh, um, so uh, I, I would believe that Chiang Mai uh, would, would, you know, would be the same. I would hope that Lana design or styling would become, uh, you know, popular in uh, the future because in Chiang Mai you have so many uh, uh, resources of uh, ideas and uh, crafts and technologies. Materials are, you know, um, various. So uh, I believe that, I mean, uh, if you keep enhancing this kind of activities, um, Chiang Mai would soon become uh, recognized as uh, one of the design um, center of the world. Thank you very much.